Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RCR Imperium Serectum. Yes, we are. And our glorious empire stretches all the way through Greece now. We even have a foothold on the Peloponnese ready to go. We've got a few battles to do, guys. And as always, if you do enjoy these episodes, please do give it a like and a subscribe. It is really appreciated and it does really help the channel out. Now, we've got a couple of things to do. Last time, you know, was it last time we took out Paeonia? No, it was two episodes ago. But we came down here, we took out some of the armies over there. Um, we are building up another army, aren't we? So let's have a look in Pella. Yeah, we are training one more turn for a lot of these guys. They're all synced up now, so I kind of know when to train each time, which is great. Um, so yeah, and then we came down south. We dealt with an Antigonid army, an Epirote army. Sorry, not an Epirote army. We're the Epirotes. <laughs> uh, an Aetolian army. So we've got plenty to keep going. Look at the trade, though. We, we really have not built up much trade. Like, look at that. There's a lot of trade here between Oinadai, but everywhere else, you can see on the map, just not much trade going on. Quite a lot of ships, though. We are now trading with the Syracusans as well, so we may actually be trading with them, but I think that is still Roman, that settlement there. Um, so, yeah, plenty to do, though. Let's get started with this bridge battle. I don't know why they decide to fight this, because I'm assuming they're just going to withdraw. So we're actually just going to run straight across the river because there's no other river crossings. It's just a single crossing. So we're going to go straight across and engage them straight away. They've got Thuriophoroi and Royal Peltas, so they're going to be quite mean to deal with. So let's get all our uh, well-adjusted and stronger units across first. Let's get our Thuriophoroi across as well if we can. The archers are there, so they should be able to fire at them. I'm just worried that um, of course we are going to take a lot of damage from their javelins when we're across. So hopefully we can form up quickly and then get our phalanx down straight away too. What do we have here? Yeah, you guys group up as well. Let's get across. You guys there. I really want my cavalry across as well. Now we can go forward. Now we have a breach. Let's go and let's get all our cavalry across. Gonna have to go like over that way if we can. There we go, that's better. Let's march forward. We'll get our hoplites around the side. And we're getting these units in here too. Let's get these Thurio Foroi around the flank there. And what was it? It was these four units, wasn't it? Well, I think they can go around the flank as well. But you can see the devastation that uh, those javelins are making right now. So let's come forward still a bit more. What is that? That's the Thurio Foray. Let's go deal with them then. And uh, here comes the rest of our army. What have we got left? Just that unit? Yeah, we don't need them. That's fine. So there goes the Hoplite into the Thurio Foray. That's good. And now we can finally just flank the rest of these units with all our men and crush them, hopefully. I don't know why they didn't go defend the bridge. And also, they didn't withdraw. So they definitely are confident here, which I don't know why they are. But they are. Let's get over that way, and these two units, if you go there, you should be able to fire into the Royal Peltas pretty nicely. I more wanted my cavalry just across, just so that we can uh, deal with uh, anyone running away. We could also charge that Thurio Foroi there. Let's now get them in there, and what I want to do is do that. I want you to attack the Royal Peltas. You guys, I want you to attack them too. Uh, cavalry, though, yeah, we can probably... Oh, there we go. Chalk speeders are dead. So let's uh, let's get into the Royal Peltas. Who's dying there? A lot. This unit, yeah. The Royal Peltas are a beastly unit. Let's get in the back of the Thurio Foroi, then, and absolutely smash them. <laughs> Very good. Yep, they're all routing now. Absolute fools. Thought they could... I don't know... Just because they've got elite units, why do they think that they can win? Like, what what are they what are they playing at, man? <laughs> These guys should absolutely be crushed. And then we've got the, the rest of the Royal Peltas. Nice and easy there, guys. Fantastic. So we lost 57, killed 324. And just because you've got elite units, Antigonids, doesn't mean you're hard enough, my friend. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. But you are clearly not hard enough, my friend. Truly a glorious victory. Let's go up to M4. I am for now. 
up here. We're going to... Oh, you don't have movement, do you not? Interesting. Well, let's uh, pop them in there. Put you down to low. You guys go in there for now. And then we'll send you north to garrison up there too. Uh, are we training here? Yes, we are. That's good. So that's one battle down. I think there's only one more to do, and it's this one. Don't think we've got anything else. Let's auto-sort these guys again. And let's go and deal with this. What is this? So three Chalka Speeders, they're going to be relatively difficult to deal with. Our Deuteroy are pretty darn damaged now. But this army's got so much experience. It is fantastic. Cannot wait to get them onto gold chevrons. Uh, a couple of Thurio Four are going to be interesting to deal with. Cavalry-wise, though, they've got three generals, so... We might struggle cavalry-wise, but let's see what we can do. We've got one Cretan archer, so maybe we can try and force them into action. Hopefully, there's not a big hill for them, because that's going to be annoying fighting up a hill. But anyway, let's crush the Antigonids once again. Today is a grim day in the sight of the gods. Grim. Grim day. to see brave men die. By night, though, they will rejoice in a victory! Yes! This, I pledge to you! Glorious Alexander's speech once again, my friends. Oh, I've missed those. Oh, I've missed those. So, they found the one little bit of a hill. <laughs> That's all. I think they're going to think they're good enough to take us on. So, let's see if they come and engage us. That'll be quite fun. Right, let's go forward. Going to have to engage mainly with the left flank exposed here to deal with those Thurio Foroi when we can. We're getting a bit shredded by their missile troops, so do have to be careful here. They're doing quite a good job, actually, their missile troops um, of firing. So let's uh, bring those guys forward. Don't mind tanking a couple of shots, though. As long as we win the battle, guys. As long as we win the battle. Let's speed it up slightly. Uh, yeah, we're just going to march forward like usual. So there goes the Athamanians dealing with everything. That's good. Here come their Chalka Speeders. Very good indeed. We're going to keep in that formation. The Thurio Foroi, though, I don't know what they're doing. It's a little bit annoying, whatever they're doing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and try and snipe these generals one by one. Where is their main general? One, two. Where is their main general? Am I being blind? It says they're up here, but that's not their main general. It literally says... Not the main general. Those Greek hoplites and 304A are going to be very annoying, but it's okay. Let's keep coming up this way. This whole blob can be killed just with our cavalry, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Who is taking an absolute battering here? You guys. Are going to have to turn around. I didn't want to turn too much because of all the javelins coming in. But here we go. Let's kill the uh, Ekekrates. What a name. What a name. Where the hell... What's, where is their main general? Broccoli man over here? I do not see their main general anywhere. Interesting. Oh, here he is. Let's kill him. Karinos should be an easy victory. Let's kill them. And let's uh, charge in if we can. This is getting a little bit close for comfort. I'm not going to lie. That guy, has he died? Yes, one of them's died at least. So now we're just fighting these guys. Let's kill Karenos, though. That should be good. You guys kill them. I don't know why I was standing you off. Uh, what is that? Prodromoy? No, he's not. He's dead. Good. Now kill the Tarantines. And then we're going to kill this Prodromoy. Get in there. Not going to worry about the Chalka Speeders too much. You guys turn, maybe. Would be good. You guys, get your phalanx down, please. You guys cannot phalanx. Then Broccoli. Broccoli Man is over there. Right, we need to just uh, destroy this whole block. Should be nice and easy. Let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Gadget Zista for oi. Look how slow we are. Jesus Christ. We're not even tired either. We're winded and that's it. Should not be difficult. Come on, guys. You've got horses, literally. Come on! <laughs> now this is charge is going to be awful because we've been stopped by these goddamn Greek slingers. Well, they're, they're, they're outing now, so that's good. Kill them then. Kill them. What's that Prodromoi doing? 
Yeah, let's chase down as many of these guys as we can. I don't need to worry about the, uh, the Chalka Speedheads too much, I don't think. So let's uh, go and try and deal with those guys. Don't mind leaving a few men out here to, uh, to deal with things. Kill those Peltas. You guys kill them. Bit of chaos over here, really, isn't it? Let's kill them. Right. Here we go. Can we rally? Yes, we can. Let's go. Go for the charge. This should be nice and easy. That's one of their Greek hoplites running. There goes the Thurioforoi. There goes that Thurioforoi too. Can we uh, just tip into this Prodromoi at all? Probably not. Uh, you guys have turned around. Good. You guys, let's try and get you up here. And use that, you guys, let's do the same thing. Get you up there. Gonna have to try and send a few units to chase these units down. I can't let them get away. Uh, Affermanian's done a good job again. Cavalry, let's get you here. We might be able to do a charge. I just don't. Oh, archers, go, go, go! Don't, don't, don't do that. Whatever you're doing, they've still got that general here, Bro Broccoli Man, who is wavering now. So you three, let's get you here. There we go. Oh, Prodromoi, just fuck off, honestly. You absolute bastards. Let's go over this way. These guys chasing down them. These guys are chasing down them. Good. Fantastic. Broccoli man. Oh, I just... Come on. I, I, did I tell you to attack or not? I think I did. I think that I did. Let's get you off guard mode. Let's do that. Kill the Prodromoi. There we go. Are they withdrawing? Yep. Good. Good. I do not want to deal with them. What are these guys doing? They're chasing after a single Deuteroid. Poor Deuteroid. Now he's dead. I hope I hope they actually get a... Uh, you know... What What is that, man? What is that? Like They're here. They're here, man. They're here. Go, 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 guys. Go. What is this? Greek Peltas. Go and kill them, then. I do think we might have to use the cavalry for this. It's unfortunate, but we may have to. We're getting shredded here a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Who's chasing who down here? Right, you guys, let's come back. Managed to chase them all down. You guys go after them. Uh, you guys get there. We'll try and get our archers to fire into them, actually, would be good. They're still, they are wavering. I feel like one charge would be enough. I just don't want them to turn around and just kill all our cavalry. So let's make sure we definitely rally for this. How are we going? They're steady. Oh, there we go. That was it. That's all we we needed. That's all we needed. Oh, glorious. Fantastic battle, my friends. Definitely need to go back for retraining now, though. <laughs> well, a glorious victory there, my friends. A little harder than it maybe needed to be, but a glorious victory nonetheless. We killed double what they did. Did any of these guys die? This Deuteroy did. <sighs> That's unfortunate. We've lost a Deuteroy, but we can just replace it with an Ambrachio and have a better starting position anyway. So let's get off the back campaign map, back onto the campaign map, where we will go back for some retraining. Well, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can re anything else we can really do. So let's pop back to here. Let's get the ship there. And now, how far can we go? Only to there. But that's okay. And we'll walk all the way back the other way. No problem. And then we're pretty close now, I think, to being able to... Yeah, we'll have four of those. And we've got a few units in here that are getting retrained. We'll be pretty close to having another army again. Uh, oh, yeah. Permenion's just the governor and Pyros is the general. How are you doing? Six management. I mean, you were a fantastic general, but you're also a fantastic management man because you're, uh, you know interested in the sciences and humanities he's got this guy which is two management colotes of alam sacus an actual unique character hero of the of epicurus and one of the most famous of his disciples he wrote a work to prove that it is impossible even to live according to the doctrines of the other philosophers it was dedicated to king ptolemaeus the fourth philopater nice cool really cool um but yeah in the north we're just kind of chilling Hopefully we don't get attacked by the Dentalate. We'll, we'll probably have to go and take them out ourselves. Honestly, I think this is what we do. We take out Iamforina. 
Take out Ion Verena. This general here, Ifestionas, probably can afford to go and kill the Denfilate. If this, let's just check their diplomatic standing though. Uh, what is their icon? That's the that's the hard thing is finding the icons on here nowadays. <laughs> uh, we, we're in around the Thracian. No, that's history and all. But there's a Denfilate. They are allied to the score Disky and the Trabali. I. Hmm. That might put us to war with the uh, Skordiski. So I think rather than that, let's just take the last two settlements here, potentially Bessapara, and just see what happens. See who attacks us, and we'll react to that. We're making 60,000 gold a turn now. Obviously helped along by the fact that we have uh, a lot less troops uh, because they've all died in battles, uh, especially that whole army. But uh, nonetheless... Very good. Let's end the turn, guys. It's kind of funny. At the end of every turn, guys, <laughs> the <laughs> Eberinus here, the Galatian diplomat, is trying to uh, to bribe Amphipolis, and the Chrysaurian League diplomat is trying to bribe Heraclius and TK. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> why would that be? Let's also resolve that. 150. We don't want a load of uh, siege battles. Let's also enslave again here. We're a minor city, which is pretty good. What is this? This is Thracian. So this would be a Thracian place, but we've got three cities on the way with Thracian stuff, haven't we? Let's go for the, not Shrine of Dioscuri. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Let's also leave here straight away. And I think we don't we don't need to retrain. We've, we've got plenty enough troops to take out these two cities. So let's go straight for that one. I probably should have split them, actually. And gone for both. And that will really, that will put an end to them in the north, which will be amazing. Athamanians in there. Ooh, I would like those Athamanians back, to be honest. These guys, can we swap out? So it was Athamanians in here, wasn't it? Can we swap seven men in there? Will you be happy with seven men, Cirrus? I think if we put you down to low, definitely. Are you you're happy with seven men? Yep. Glorious. Nice, that's what we like to see. So that's another free Athamanian. Could also do with maybe jiggling this around a little bit. You guys can come. Actually, I wonder whether both of you can leave. Because we don't need both of you in there. Let's go down to low. Yep, yeah, plenty. You guys are the two gar new garrisons for the areas over here. Although uh, Hoplite is not the best garrison. Don't really want to use Hoplites anymore. So I don't want them in the army. <laughs> <laughs> these guys is, is a wasteful garrison as well. I should probably go through all of these at some point. This is also a wasteful garrison in Scoopy. Do you know what I'll do? I'm just going to disband that. Don't need that anymore. It's just costing us money. Same thing with these Cretan Hoplites. We're never going to use them again. I'll leave the archers in there. Three Thurio Foro. That is actually a fantastic garrison. So we'll leave that just in case. These garrisons over here are actually awesome. They are very well managed, but uh, I don't want to be wasting good troops in some of these garrisons over here. So it's worth getting the Aphamanian in there. Uh, everywhere did train. So where do we want to go next? You also need a building, so let's go for the Hippodrome. We can get Barakiotes there. Uh, let's just keep on going with more Thessalians in there. And in here, let's go for more Thessalians too. Over in Ambrakia, we need to retrain, so we'll uh, get these guys out for now. And we might, in fact... Hmm, yeah, you are a fantastic governor. So what I want to do is probably govern Amphipolis with you, because Amphipolis is a great city. And uh, I think we've given up on the idea of you becoming a general for now. Well, our three armies at the minute is, is enough to keep us going, isn't it? Rioting in Sophis. I mean, that's not unexpected. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, yep, there we are. Boetians and the Antigones are at war. Oh, Boetians have done a little jump. Go on, the boys! Yes! Go on, the Boetians. I love that. Fantastic. That is amazing to see. I absolutely love that. Nice. Fenike now got the Hippodrome too. So they can get uh, Zistaphoroi if we want it. Uh, right, let's spend all of our money retraining um, we can't merge pretty much merge no one right now that's all we can do there and we can't do any of those or we can probably do some cavalry probably both of the units of cavalry there we go so that makes it a little bit better 
still going to take multiple turns to retrain these guys. So that's okay. What do we want in this army, though? So we've got Ambrachios. We've got two Deuteroi. We've got three Athamanians. We've got enough cavalry. I think we want some more Thurio Foroi. So we'll pop in a Thurio Foroi there. Korkira got the public baths. Anything else of note? Stoby got that recruitment. So let's go straight on to level two. Anything else that's that interesting? Now, Pactos got the blacksmith. I think that's just a rebuilding the blacksmith. Also, we got to remember that we do have Pyros here. Hmm. I mean, what do we do with these mercenary troops? I mean, they should just be garrisons, really, but I can't move them. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. We're just going to have to attack those guys, I think. I think that's the only thing we can do. Um, we are going to attack Ellis, so might as well. I don't know what to do with them, though, for now. Um, we'll keep them, like, on the port for now, because they can then go across. We'll get the boat there, too. And then how close are we to being able to rebuild Pyrrhus's army? I feel like we've got enough now, so let's let's wait for the Athamanians to, to be done. And where are we going to send Pyrrhos, though? I think we're going to send him down south. These two settlements are GCS. So I wonder if we go for an invasion through Evia, would that be a good idea? I think we only need one army versus Ellis. They keep bringing these guys in drips and drabs, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared of you anymore, um, Macedon. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Your armies used to be very scary to us. And now when you don't have the Salian cavalry, not so scary. Not going to lie. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll get these guys. We'll take another one of the Ambrachiotes too. They already start with decent experience in there, which is amazing. Um, so, yeah, we'll take those. And, yeah, these guys now are fantastic. They are better than the starting Thessalians. But, obviously, when the Thessalians get their experience, they'll be really good. But, for now, that's the best we can do uh, with the Zistaphori. Uh, these Progemoi have gold gold now. And you have gold. So, you've got eight missile attack to start with. Pretty good. Now, let's see what we want to build. I would like to be able to build everywhere. Let's just check all of these places that are really upset. I mean... Yeah, both of them because they're on high taxes. I feel like just building something. I think, though, the main thing is we are building our royal road, aren't we, from north to south. So let's keep on going with that. Let's go into here then and build it. Um, we can't afford to do it in Bailazora right now. But how about Pella? No, we are building through there. So in these areas, there we go. Oh, there was some place that we needed to upgrade, wasn't there? So let's just have a look at that if we tab out onto the map. It was Lucas. Not really a, a remembered area of our empire, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and what? No, that's Zakynthos, right. <laughs> I was so confused then. I was also going to say that these settlements here like, are just so pointless. We just do not do anything with them. And they've got nothing worth building there. I'm not going to lie. So uh, it's fine. It's fine. We just forget about them for now. Uh, this area up here, though, is very rich. And uh, we want to keep it going. No corruption up here at the moment. Obviously, likely to get corruption as we get richer and richer up there. But yeah, some good buildings going on, but that royal road does really need to be built. So we'll we'll uh, we'll focus on that for the next few turns. Apart from military buildings, which take precedent because they take so long to build. So let's end the turn, though, guys. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. And uh, yeah, I think we're all good. So the Antigonids have come down and attacked Aegeon. Honestly, I could not care less. As long as we don't lose Pyrrhos here, who is our faction heir, then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for them to take Aegeon, to be honest. And let's get Ambrakia in here. Let's make sure we retrain the rest of these guys and the ships too. Uh, and we'll pop you to the back. There we go. Fantastic. And let's then have a look at Pyrrhos. You are going to deal with Amphipolis. We can actually use that garrison for somewhere else as well if we need to. So, Pyrrhos, let's get your army together. Let's pop you on the bridge. Let's go with the Ambrachiotes. Do we want the Progemoi? I mean, I feel like just disbanding the Progemoi at this point, because we don't really need them. We'll take these three Athamanians. We'll also take the Thuriophoroi and the Archer. We'll take an Archer. We might as well have an Archer in the army. Not hugely useful, but okay. 
And the Prodromoi, honestly, I just feel like like these units like are all garrison units. So let's leave one Prodromoi in there. And let's send them. We'll send them because I don't know where I'm actually going to send Pyros for now. I might try and sneak through and take Delphoi. So, yeah, we'll send them this way as garrison troops. We've also got these garrison troops over here. So I think we're just going to auto-resolve these couple of battles, guys, because we've done a lot of sieges recently. Uh, and again, we're going to enslave. We're going to enslave all of these cities so that we can boost our population growth everywhere else. Because we do really need to start growing some of these smaller towns, like like Iskana, like for example. Great place that we need to upgrade. Uh, Bacaria as well. Civil disorder in a couple of places. Sophis is very upset. Let's go straight in for that second level of thingy then. This place as well, very upset. Nothing we can build there to actually help it, so not much we can do about that. Marina and Thebaipa Theotides too. Interesting, but they're back happy now, so that's no problem. Rhodes and Ptolemies are at war. Greek city-states and Pergamon. Cool. Ah, and we've got a load of Olympic guys off going uh, for the Olympics. Got a few places. Stimbara built that, but it needs to build up to next level, and then we can build the next level. Uh, by those we got level 2, which is fantastic, so we can build level 3, and then we can start getting a Thracian army in the north to fight the Thracians themselves, which will be glorious. Have we got an academy here? Interesting. Why? Oh yeah, I was going to say, why is it not there? It is there. So let's build the academy so we can get this guy some better traits again. And then I think we'll go for the dockyard because let's let's have a look at how much money this dockyard will make. 2,000 from trade here. It's going to make us 800 gold if we build that dockyard. Right, let's then have a look at what else we can build on the Royal Road in terms of this area. There, you're building there. You're building a blacksmith. That's fine. In here, let's build the road then. And then in here, yeah, all of these are building military buildings for now. So we can't actually build them anything on the roll road there. Let's build some paved roads in Ambrakia though. As part of the roll roads, we've got paved roads there. What about this one? That would Oh, their paved roads are nearly done. So let's have a look up here. You need roads. You can have a royal road. And you can have a royal road. Royal roads for everyone. <laughs> Glorious. Right, let's uh, go with this. And what else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, we need to leave. We need to leave. We need to leave, my friends. We can't repair anything now because I spent too much money. Oh, well. Oh, well, who cares? Don't need no money, man. Don't need no money. Right, let's, uh, let's go with the Akontistai in there. And, I mean, this unit, I feel like just disbanding this unit, honestly. And we'll use the uh, the garrison in Amphipolis for Abdera over here. How rich is this settlement here, Philippi? Philippi, 2,000. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. This spy, then, I don't think we need them there anymore. We need to have a look over this region. Uh, Ptolemies and Seleucids still holding on to this region to this day, which is quite surprising. I don't like the look of that, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, Thracians are in... The oh, no, that's Seleucids now. It looks like the Seleucids are fighting the Thracians, so that's okay. Don't mind that. So we're going to take Abdera. Then we're going to head up through this road through to Bessapara. And then we're going to retrain, and then we'll see what we want to do in the north. Like I say, we'll probably just react to whoever attacks us. At the minute, I don't think we border the Idrisians, so they're not going to attack us. But the Maidi, the Dentalate, I'd probably take out the Dentalate, to be honest. Um, yeah, Ifestionas, I think it was his calling in life, you know, to be in the north. Down south, we need our serious, more serious commanders of Alexander and Pyrrhos. Even though Pyrrhos did get absolutely ruined in that one battle, didn't he? <laughs> so we've got this unit here. Let's pop all the way through. What I'm also going to do is send these Ambrakiotes through here to go and join up. And then we should probably send... Well, how many do we need? So we've got Alexander here. This is his whole army. We're going to have Pyrrhos. So that's one. So we need two units. And we're going to get the Thurio Foroi. We've got one more turn. So we need one Ambrakiote in there. So we'll pop them in. And then these Ambrakiotes can come through to join up with Pyrrhos too. 
Fantastic. Seems like that army is going to be very nice indeed. We may just end up disbanding these guys. Like, we don't need them anymore. And they're just taking up space, really, aren't they? They haven't built any rams. But like I say, I really don't... I'm really not bothered about that. Same with Sophis. If that goes, I'm not too bothered either. Uh, that spy's there. We've got a spy in the north looking over that. Glorious. Right, let's uh, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see what the Antigonids decide to do. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I mean, it would give us time down south to deal with Ellis. But in the north, I really do want to just square off this region. Like, it'd be a bit annoying if we can't take that region there. Oh, I don't know. It would give us loads of time to take out Ellis, though, as well, and the uh, and uh, the Aetolians. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. If they accept... I mean, it's very demanding, just a normal ceasefire, so for some reason they want it, even though they think it's really demanding. What's that one at the top called? Wasn't it... Uh, Abdera? Whatever. We'll put Abdera, but no. Yeah, we, we basically <laughs> rejected it by proxy there. <laughs> Interesting. So the Maidy want to become our protectorate. I mean, from my experience of protectorates, <laughs> they, uh, a lovely wife, this guy. Well, why is does that decrease chance? Oh, no, that was, it was over flashing. <laughs> He's cool. I like this guy. Uh, he's a claimant. Uh, unwilling linguist. He doesn't like language. <laughs> he's a social drinker. What a man. Um, yeah, the maidy want to become a protectorate. I mean, from my experience of protectorates, I find them to just cancel their protectorate status pretty quickly afterwards. But let's see whether they will accept and they'll keep it because our strength comparison is so high. So, uh, yeah, let's accept that for now. So more rioting in Imbros this time, but Imbros has recovered again. I... <laughs> Very strange. Uh, we've got an agent detect the Aetolian League and now Pactos. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot about this. Rome is invaded again. But uh, with such a small army, what are they doing, man? Like, why? <laughs> They're so dumb. Silly Rome. Has anyone won the Olympics? We've got Ptolemaeus the Wrathful. Interesting. He's getting a tutor, which is good. So, where is he based, Ptolemaeus the Raffle? He's in um, in Baroya, which is one of our richest settlements. Um, but yeah, plenty of Romans. Like, they literally are, you know, pretty much sieged up to, like, here, I think, by the Syracusans. And apparently, we're more of, we're more of an important enemy. So, <laughs> that's so weird. Silly, silly Rome. Silly Rome. Uh, now, Pactos got a tutor. And uh, we recruited a few units. And we've got the Royal Road going now. So, few areas now have the paved roads. Where just got the paved roads? We got it there. Not that many places, honestly. It's more like this area, isn't it? I think they got the... Yeah, they've just got the ro roads, which is fantastic. So, glorious. 48,000 to play with, too. So, I think we'll uh, just auto-resolve this again. 72... Let's enslave Abdera again. It's only a large town, though, this time. But, oh, well, we'll enslave there. Uh, let's make sure we repair this. And let's go up to Bess Apara. I don't want to go through that way. Although, yeah, we... Yeah, I thought that might happen. <laughs> I wanted to go through that way. That would have been better. But anyway... Let's get uh, these guys in there as the garrison. 68%. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's build the sewers then to keep them happy. And let's get our army together down south. So we've got these guys. Join up there. You, Pyrrhus, join in there. So let's auto-sort them as well. We've got the Thurio Foroi, the Ambrachiotes. Those guys. And now we get our four Thessalian cavalry in there. And then we've got some more spare Thessalian cavalry for a fourth army. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's start putting together another army then. Uh, so we've got two Thessalians there. So let's get one, two more. Then we're going to keep on going with the Ambrachiotes there. 
We'll keep on going for Dambrakios here as well. And in this army, we've got one space because of uh, bloody uh, Pyros being stuck in now Pactos <laughs> forever. And uh, we're going to, of course... Oh, we can't we can't attack them this turn. That's a little bit annoying. We got transgression against the Seleucids. Ah, uh, we did walk through their land. See, this is why we should have gone that way. God damn it. <laughs> so, pretty much nearly a victory in the north. We've only got a little bit to do until we do get the victory in the north. We've got Pyros' army down here, which is a pretty darn scary army. I'm not going to lie. Really nice army, in fact. Very nice indeed. So, uh, glorious... Did, did, we all, did we also get our reform? One huge city and we get the Espido Foray. I mean, we don't need the Espido Foray, so I'm not even bothered about that. Ambrakia, come on, Ambrakia. You need to grow, man. You are so slow at growing. Um, well, we need at least somewhere to get to huge city. We're nowhere near huge city anywhere. I don't even know. Do we even have any large cities? Larissa... Do we even... Yeah, do we even have any large cities? Demetrius, maybe? No. Bylazora? Have we conquered a large city? God, the, the, the fertility in this region is, is not good. I think we got one large city in here somewhere. Yeah, Pasaran's a large city. But unfortunately, it's not growing still. So let's get the grain imports and then let's keep on working on our royal road. These guys are building. How about you? You're upgrading. You're building a road too. I don't think we need it there. You're building just a standard road. You're upgrading that. How about up here? Yeah, you're building the roads. So are you. You only have those roads. So let's build them up here. You're building them too. Uh, Pella would be a good one. But we are building a, an economic building in there. We've got them there. You're upgrading. Let's have a look at Larissa. Is there anything we want to build in terms of military? I think we'll just go for the roads first. And then we'll go for military. Um, same thing in Ferai, in Pharsalos, in a second when that's done. Over here we are building the roads, and then we'll build them in here too. And that pretty much, I think, covers the whole region. Um, I would like them in Fenike as well, so we'll pop them in there. And I think that covers, like, most of the areas, which is great. We can't attack there, which is very annoying, but okay. <laughs> Whatever, you can't attack. And you can't attack, so we, all we need to do now is just spend the rest of our money. Um, let's have a look. What have we got in Korkira? Yeah, Korkira is an island, so no point building the roads there. Uh, what else could we build in here that's worth it? Nothing, really. I don't think it's worth anything to build there. Antigonia, Chionia. I could build roads there, but it's 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 5,000 gold for not much reward, really. I don't, that, that area we don't need to. So let's go for the public baths, get a bit of population growth. Let's just try and get all these areas a bit more growth because, of course, pretty bad. We'll also get the Academy into Donor so that this guy can get some more management because he's already a pretty darn good manager as well. So let's end the turn there, guys. Not much to do on this turn apart from we will... Uh... Oh, God, if the GCS just stand there, that's going to be incredibly annoying. I want to get to uh, Delphoi. It's going to take us about 10 turns to get through this region. So that kind of makes me think that uh, invading via boat would be better. We can go there. And we could go down to Evia. <sighs> Not great, really, is it? But anyway, let's end the turn, guys. <laughs> Kyrene has been destroyed. That's surprising. That normally isn't a nation that gets destroyed very easily. Well, I think we're on episode 19, aren't we, guys? So next episode, we'll have a good toggle fog of war. We've got civil disorder in Aegeon because... If we have a look, we've got 20% uh, unrest, and we're blockaded, and uh, they got they managed to get two spies in there. Ellis and the Aetolians both have spies in IGN now. <laughs> There's literally nothing. Goddamn, Scordisky have got a spy. That kind of indicates that they might want to attack us soon, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, anything interesting being built here that we need to worry about? No, not really. Good. Right then. This time, can we actually, like, go there, go there, now go there. There we go. You bastard. There's 54 men in that, apparently. That was 54 men only for that. That's kind of crazy. Oh, they've got some air. Uh, 
Bessian Swordsman here. Oh, baby. If we can get these guys, that would be amazing. I am very much wanting, once all of these uh, sort of buildings are done, like Bylazora here. Um, problem with that is that Stoby. Like, Bylazora here, I really, really want to build a Thracian army because Thracian armies and rosters are so fun, my friends. They are so fun. So we are definitely going to build one of those. I'll try and show off the Thracian roster before we do play the Adrissians at some point in the future. Um, you, would, it would be nice if you went back inside your city. The problem is here, if we, like, pop here, wait to get across next turn, like... We can either go around that way, take out the Boeotians, but we could just get stuck in here forever <laughs> and not be able to escape. Uh, that always tends to happen. I bet you that's going to happen, guys. I really don't want it to happen, but I bet it's going to. These armies are just really just pissing me off. Like, why? <laughs> like, either attack me or attack each other or do something. Goddamn Rome as well. Like, why have you come for this fight? Like, you don't need this fight at all. Uh, right then, let's uh, let's keep on going with our training. Let's go for some Brachiotes. Same thing here. We've got Ambrachiotes. We're getting the Thessalians and Ambrachiotes down there. What are we training in Pella? I think we should train some Athamanians in Pella. So let's go with that one. Um, and let's have a look at some of these really upset places. We'll just pop them down. They don't need to be on the high tax rate if they're going to be upset. 69, though, is... You know, obviously nice, but uh, yeah, Thebipithiotides. What is that? You don't need to be. You don't need to be upset, guys. You don't need to be upset. Pelion to uh, Dasaretopolis over here, and let's. Uh, I don't think there's many other places we need to go with the royal roads, but uh, I think everywhere is kind of building it where it needs to be built. You are. You are. Uh, you guys aren't obviously because you are building. Uh, recruitment hubs. Once these two are done as well, we will build it there. I'm thinking we'll do it through Lignida, so we might as well do it through the center here, so that they can march up this way if they need to, to fight the score Disky. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be better. Let's also build in Oricon. We've not built in Oricon for a long time. Uh, is that the border? Is that a road? That's a road, right? That is a road. Well, we might as well build it there as well, because it's going to increase trade. Um, so, yeah, I think we're doing quite well in terms of all of that sort of thing. Let's now have a look at what else we want to build then. Pasaran. I don't think there's anything worth it in Pasaran, is there? Oh, no, there's, there's population growth that we need. Three turns for grain imports, which is really quick, but it costs 10,000. But it does give us an extra half a percent. 10,000 for the aqueduct, but it's public order as well. I think just the irrigation. It's cheaper and going to give us a, something a little bit better. Korkira, again, not worth anything in there. Let's just try and build some on the newer places we've taken. Like Philippi, we do need to, you know, obviously rebuild that. Let's then go for what shrine is in here. They have the third level of Dionysus. That's absolutely fine. Not bad at all. Let's go for the public baths then. I am Farina over here. Can't build mines here, can we? Let's go for the trying to Aphrodite for a bit of extra population growth. Aegeon, not bothered about them. Now Pactos down here in the south. Let's just go... I don't know, really. There's not much to build here that's that important. Could go for some more population growth. See, it is a minor city, and it could be nice to upgrade it. Heraclea Sintike. Hmm. You would be a good one for the Royal Road, because that is your road there, right? That goes all the way over there. So let's go for that one. And Cassandrea over here. That we do have a general in. So let's go for the public baths. And then Cirrus over here as well. Let's go for the crop rotation. Then Burger, yeah, Burger's not really that good of a town. Zakynthos, again, not fantastic. Same, oh, Same doesn't even have a port. I did not realize that. We've not built in there for ages. So let's build a port in there. That's definitely going to be quite useful. We've got 1,800 gold left. 
I'm going to save that in case we need to retrain anyone after this battle with the Romans. So let's go after them. They've got some Triarii, which are insanely powerful. Samnite Hoplites and a couple of Velites. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem, but I think that Triarii is going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. So let's go, guys. Another battle against the Romans. So the main aim for this battle, guys, is to make sure that... You know, we don't need to retrain these guys. Either that or that the retraining will be so cheap and quick that it doesn't really matter. So, it's nice to see the Romans back on the battlefield again. I can't wait for these guys to get remastered. They're going to look unbelievable, aren't they, my friends? Like, if we look at the, uh, you know, how the Greek units look. Imagine the Romans now. They're going to be so, so good. Don't know whether they've got any um, missiles, these guys. I don't think the Triarii I do. The Prinker Bays do. Samnite Hoplites. I don't think the Samnite Hoplites do. Obviously, the Velites do. I think that's where we're going to have most of our losses, honestly. But look at this. What a beautiful sight that is. Fantastic. Romans versus Epirotes. Out on the sands. Very nice, indeed. Might as well just fire away for a couple of, couple of, uh, of sections. We'll bring you across two. We might as well. Might as well get you a bit of experience, my friend. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go and engage them then. Nice and fat phalanx formation. So it's going to be good for them to go there. And then we'll get the 304 over this way too. Cavalry, I'll group you up. Let's go just forward. Where are they going? Like, why are you doing that? What are they doing, man? Are they withdrawing? Oh, they are withdrawing. Right, let's go then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is going to be a lot harder to deal with. Um, what are they doing? So, phalanx down, phalanx down. So they've gone for a couple of attacks. So let's bring these guys through here. Go, go, go. Thurio, Foroy, I want you to go and engage them. Cavalry, this is the only way we're going to be able to stop them withdrawing is cavalry. So Thurio, Foroy, let's go. Guys, get there. What else do we have? We've got Athamanians. You can chase them down, actually. That'd be great. Are you guys walking? Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. We need you over here. You guys fight them. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, guys, charge. Charge. Charge, charge, charge. Athamanians. Let's keep coming. Archers will bring you over this way too. There we go. There we go. So we should have maybe stopped a couple of them now. All we want to do is just be able to stop them. You guys get over that way. The Velites are the ones trying to escape here. So we need to stop them escaping. Get over that way. Thurio Foroy, deal with the Prinkapes. You guys run up this way. Go, 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 guys, go! Go, go, Gadget. What are yours? Yeah, get the Velites. Go, go, go. Don't get caught. Don't get caught, guys. Don't get caught. Fire at the Samnites. There goes the Prinkapes. You guys get over there. You guys get over there. Athamanians, get out. Athamanians, get out. Oh, Cavalry, come on. Why do you do that? Oh, they've fucking escaped now. Right. Idiots, man. Idiots. Let's go. Let's just get here. You guys there. Right, you guys can get in the back of these guys. Uh, Athamanians and all that sort of thing. Right, Athamanians, let's go here. And we'll get uh, firing into the enemy. You guys turn around. Fight them. Okay, what is that? What is that unit? Samnite Hoplite. You're dead, mate. You're dead. I don't give a fuck. You're dead. Go, go, go. <laughs> nice. I mean, that was an okay charge. You'd think we would have killed more. But they're still eager. That's the annoying thing. These guys, let's crush them. What's happened here? They were behind us before, I swear. Right, you guys, let's get a little bit closer, and then we'll fire into the backs. How are we doing against the Samnites? Well, let's come out, back out, and let's go for another charge. Looks like we may need to retrain these guys. I would like to make sure that they're all, you know, good. Thurio Foroy, let's go for those Samnite Hoplites. 
You guys can go after these guys. So let's go. Guys, what are you doing, man? Go, go, go. Get away from them. Get away. Okay, they are running. So hoplites, let's get you charging there. And are these guys firing? Like, fire, please, guys. Fire. There we go. That's better. You fire at them. You guys get there. So you guys charge them before they escape. You guys charge them. And we'll bring these guys up this way too. Good. I think we're doing all right. Now are we firing? Yes, we are. Oh, my God. Look at that. The Triarii getting absolutely ruined. Okay, they, they escaped. So we need to attack them there. And then we'll send, like, you guys. Oh, my God. The, the Javis are just obscenely killing them. Fantastic. Fantastic, my friends. Romans for dinner. Yes, we're cannibals now, apparently. Well, a pretty glorious victory against the Romans, I've got to say. Very nice indeed. Should hopefully scare them into submission once again. I don't know why they keep doing this. They think we're weak. We're not weak anymore, my friend. We're not weak. Well, I think we might as well just pop them into the city for now for a turn. Just to retrain them so they're fully fresh for going forward. How many need retraining? Well, we'll uh, group them all together. Not going to risk that one. You guys that. Oh, we can't retrain the Athamanians here, can we? Uh, so, yeah, let's go into Ambrakia instead. There we go. That's better. And, yeah, all of these guys can uh, join up together. No one else can actually fit anymore on there. Let's join those up. And the Deuteroy. I think the Deuteroy is fine. Oh, it's one, one troop difference. So, Nice. Oh, we don't have the money. So let's cancel something that's building. I can't remember where I built, though. That's the problem. Uh, where did we put something new in? Where did we focus our building? It was on the Royal Road, wasn't it, again? So let's just cancel that. Oh, we're getting a little bit laggy now. Oh, oh, what's going on? Not had that before. Interesting. Oh, doesn't like it. It really doesn't like it. Very weird. Well, hopefully after the end turn, it'll be fine. You guys come back in there. Like I say, we are putting together a new army, which is glorious. Um, might as well use that 3,000 gold for something. Like Demetrius, for example, could build something in here. Yeah, like an academy. That'd be great. This guy's got seven management too. But if we can get even more, that'd be amazing. Um, and you guys, yeah, you guys, you're probably just going to... I was going to say auto-resolve, but no. It's actually got a decent-sized garrison in there. Wow. they got a uh, Getic Archers. I love those guys. They look really cool. Uh, oh, no. Those are... No, they're, they're not those ones. There's some, like, Thracio Celtic Archers that are really, really cool. Um, so, yeah. Nice. Right, then. Let's end the turn there, guys. I might, in fact, take Sedica as well. I mean, because we're going to take Bessapara and we're going to be bordering the Adrissians anyway. So we might as well take Sedica. Looks like it's Celtic units, so interesting. Shouldn't be too hard to take that settlement, though. Uh, but once we've taken that, that's when we'll go back for retraining and uh, we'll be good. So uh, let's end the turn there, though, guys, and let's see what happens. So Kaidonia has died. Interesting, interesting. Uh, lots of places dying out here in uh, Anatolia. Obviously, Kyrene died as well. Um, and then now on Crete. So, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. But, uh, God damn it. And Athens did, did, uh, did just declare war on us by blockading us for some reason. So, Athens just has not learnt their lesson. They really do need to get killed. Look at the Seleucids over here. Like, why? <laughs> do something! Do something! <laughs> God damn it. Like, so dumb. <laughs> AI gonna AI, my friends. That's what I found with the big empires. Like, they just tend to just group together a massive amount of troops and just stand there. And do nothing. <laughs> it's just like, why? <laughs> like these, like the Antigonids, like what are they doing? They're not doing anything productive. They could be sieging both of my settlements down right now. Could be sieging down these GCS. Could be fighting Ellis. Could be killing Sparta. But no, they're, <laughs> they're just going to stand there and do nothing. Fantastic. Well, let's get these guys out. Are we going on the boats? Let's see. Um, I don't know. 
Look at the Ath Athenians just have random shit everywhere. Like, why do they just have random armies just everywhere? <laughs> so stupid, man. Um, I really want to get to now Pactos. So let's pop there and let's hope that these guys move out. They're blocked by Athens. They're blocking us. So we're going to have to come through this way where we'll be blocked by that. Then we're going to have to come through here where we'll be blocked by both those cities. Move one more turn, we'll be blocked by Arifron. And then go for Delphoi. Sorry, not now Pactos. Um, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so annoying. This area got pretty damaged. I really don't care. Like I say, like if we're going to lose that city, I don't care. We'll come back and exterminate it. Um, doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's have a look. We got some more Thessalians and more Ambrachios. So we're going to make sure we're still training. Fast Loss now got the ability to get Ambrachios, which is great. So we've got three. So we've got enough Thessalians for a new army. So we should now start just uh, pumping out the Ambrachios. You can't get Ambrachios, so let's not worry about that too much. You guys are getting Ambrachios. Fenike too. Really train those boys. Uh, Falana has upgraded now. Great. Let's keep going with the Royal Road then. Uh, Pelion here has upgraded, so we'll go for that. Philippoi has also upgraded. Oh, no, that's just a uh, rebuilding. That's fine. Are these guys still building the uh, recruitment centers? Yes, they are. Fantastic. Very good. Very good, my friends. We've got that battle to do. That's probably what we'll end the episode on. Um, but we've got to decide what we want to do with Alexander now. See, I could just come through here and attack Ellis and or Sparta, both of them. I mean, we could chain through Ellis quite quickly. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll tr yep, we will attack a neutral faction. I don't care! <laughs> They've been in our lands for so long, just doing nothing. That, uh, yeah, I think we need to uh, do something about it. We actually can't even get in there because of the uh, the fleets of the enemy. I was thinking about this, like, we don't need to build a, uh, a fleet at all. So, like, at the minute, there's just no point because all I want to do is take uh, the bottom half of Greece, the Peloponnese. And then I'm, I'm not bothered about going east. I'm happy to go north into Thrace. And, uh, you know, assert rightful Greek territory, especially here and up into Pontic Pentapolis. But I'm really not bothered about going through Anatolia. We've been there, done that with the Seleucids. What I want to do is go west and invade Sicily and invade Rome. Um, so, yeah, so we don't really need a fleet for that because that's a very short distance. We can afford to go across with a boat uh, and not get killed. So, yeah, we don't need to build a fleet at all right now, although... It probably will be a good idea at some point, because these islands can make you very rich as well. And Crete too. Um, I mean, Crete would be a great prize as well as Rhodes. But uh, like I say, we've been there, done that, haven't we, guys? So I wanted to, you know, present to you guys a bit different gameplay, really, uh, than what you've seen before from the channel. So let's go. Let's just go with that. It's going to bring us money, isn't it? Um, Pharsalos 2. Let's go for the road there. Thebai, Pythiatides, let's just build another wall, gives us a bit of extra law. Dion out here, we can actually go for highways in Dion. Hmm, how much money does that build up? Yeah, it's literally giving nothing, so no point for that. Whereas the shipwright gives 9,000. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Iana's also very rich, so what are we going to do? Like... I don't understand. Some of these, like, provide money with the highways. Some don't. And I don't know why. I don't know whether it's a bug or something like that. Um, but, yeah. It's a little bit weird. A little bit weird. What is this place? Baroya. We don't really need the roads in here. Let's get the academy, though, so we get our guy some better traits. Edessa, Botitia. Again, we don't need the roads. So, what is left? Probably just... Public baths. We'll go for public baths. Bit of extra growth. Bit of extra growth. Right, let's finish on this battle, guys. And it will be, finally, finally, we will have got rid of the Antigonids in the north. Apparently, we can't retreat from this. What? Why? <laughs> anyway, they've got trolley and infantry, which is not great. <laughs> They're a pretty scary unit. But I feel like we do have enough. 
Do we have a full army? Oh, we do. I was going to say, we could get our own Thracian boyos. But there isn't any good Thracian boyos anyway. So, let's get into the battle, guys. Well, I think this is going to be slightly harder than we anticipated. Because looking at our infantry, this is half of it. <laughs> These units have seen a lot on campaign, haven't they, my friends? They have seen a lot. <laughs> they are pretty much down to the dregs. The last men. The last brave men of the units. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think, than we anticipated. But that's not a problem. We're going to try and breach with the, the Greek hoplites. You guys go there. You guys go there. You guys go there. You guys go there. And we'll try and get our archers in and do as much damage as we can with the archers. I think that's going to be quite an important thing to do. Uh, we're going to get... And we're also going to try and use our cavalry, actually, in this siege battle. Which, obviously, is not something we normally do. So, let's bring the hoplites in. And let's bring the archers in, too. Uh, cavalry and everything. Let's bring you in, too, as well. Guys, get them. Get the uh, Thracian Hippogantistae. We've also got the Getic Archers, which is their general. Uh, what we're going to try and do here... What is this? Thracian Peltas? No, it's not. What's this? No, Peltas. Phalangites. There we go. Right. Keep coming round. Keep going, guys. Keep going. So we're going to kill these uh, Getic Archers. And like I say, we're going to bring the cavalry in as well. Where do we want to send the cavalry round? Probably around that way. So, cavalry, get there. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Killed them. Kill them. Now you guys can fire into them. What is these? Oh, the Trollian infantry. That's not going to be fun to deal with. I'm going to try and use these mercenary guys as much as possible. So, what do we have here? The two hoplites. Oh, they've got to fight Bessian swordsmen as well. That's not going to be ideal for them. I'm not going to lie. Right, you hoplites then. Let's tr see if we can try and sneak you through. That would be ideal. I think we're going to have to rely quite heavily on our cavalry here. What else do they have in the back? Prodromoy... Oh, there we are. Oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> yeah. You guys get in the fight. You guys. Let's get you all the way behind. Managed to just slip through, didn't you? Very nice. Let's get you there. And once you're in position... Into the phalanx formation, please, guys. Here we go. Take you off that. And we'll go after the mercenary Thralian infantry. These poor guys are going to get shredded by the Bessian swordsmen. But that's okay. Get after them, guys. Get after them. Who else do we have in here that we can use? Got archers. Not that they're... So the archers are going to be used here, obviously, to fire into the enemy. So, yeah. This should be a lot easier now. We should be able to shred these guys. The Thralians are gone. Good. And the Phalangites should be going too. Uh, cavalry, what are you doing, guys? I know the pathing is hard, but you can at least get in there as a normal people. As a normal people? As a normal unit? I don't know. I can't speak. <laughs> I can't speak. We'll get these guys here for now. Get them there. And uh, what we're going to do then is send this Ambrachiot around here uh, to deal with them. And what else do we have? We've got these two units. Going to send them around here too. Uh, probably like there. That would be great. Ooh, missing out on that. Can these guys fire in here or not? Looks like they can. But not greatly. Right. Let's uh, see if we can try and surround these Bessians with the cavalry. Problem is the pathing is just so, so bad. <laughs> so... Like, this pathing is going to be brutal. Like, we're not going to get a charge off. One thing, we, we can surround them, though, and, uh, you know, try and try and route them just through surround. Because their general's dead, isn't he? Well, let's uh, also get these guys through that way. Phalangites, where else can we go? We can go all the way around there. I mean, we can get the phalangites in the back, actually. That would be good. Let's have a look. So the Stereo 4 are shaken. The Bessians are just impetuous, though. Which is a little bit annoying. Who are we fighting here? Who are we fighting? Who is this? Who are we fighting? <laughs> Tell me who we're fighting, guys. God damn it. What are they doing, man? Like, go here. 
Why do they think they have to run, like, all the way around? Just, just go there. Archers? Where are you? Oh, there, good. Good, 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 good. So they can fire their jabbies through there, so hopefully we can fire our missiles through. But we shall see. We shall see, guys. Oh, there we go. I was wondering where that sound was coming from. I was like, hope one of my units isn't dying. <laughs> but it, it turns out we've absolutely just squished them to death. I think we can do the rest of this with our cavalry, then. There's, there's nothing left. Is that everyone? Yeah, there we go. Getic archers getting killed. You guys apparently can fire. You guys should be able to fire now. Oh, they're, they're dying pretty quickly. Here we go. All our guys are happy now. The Bessian swordsmen are dead. Go, go, go. Kill all of these archers. And then what's that? The mercenary trollians. Shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a hard kill on the town square. And the progemoi. There we go. Get the phalanx down. Right in time. Bang. Come on. Surely they should be dying. They literally just charged straight into a phalangite. <laughs> there we go. Kill the trollians. How many are left? Kill them all. Kill them all. Let's go and speed this up now. Pretty fun siege battle, I'm not going to lie. It's always so much more fun when there's a few uh, a few more units on the battle map. A lot more tactical. But a glorious victory. 500 versus 199. Very nice indeed, my friends. So in Besapara, let's just occupy. I know it's pretty upset. But I think we can probably make them happy relatively quickly. Especially if we put it down to low. Let's repair that build that as well. The Maidy have a spy there. That's fine. Should be a relatively rich settlement because it's got gold mines already. Losing 500 to corruption though. So we'll have to uh, correct that sometime soon. Do we have a garrison troop somewhere? Anywhere? This Prodromoy, I guess. Yeah, let's send that Prodromoy up. They can be a garrison troop. I don't think we have enough to deal with that, especially Celtic units now. <laughs> Definitely not. But I think we're going to end it there, guys, today. So we've got this army on the way to attack Ellis. We've got this army trying to sneak through. <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare. You guys now need to follow them as well. Um... But yeah, that's going to be fun. Trying to, um, Hopefully we don't get stuck. I really don't want to have to declare war on the GCS because we've got a lot of land with them around us. Uh, so yeah, that wouldn't be great. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it should be okay. It should be okay. We've built up our economy quite significantly. We're now on 53,000. Enough to su uh, definitely support a fourth army. Pretty much at this point, we're just going to be re constantly recruiting until the end of the game, really. Uh, and just building up more and more armies until we are the predominant military power. We're already in a very good position, being the fifth in production, sixth territorially, fifth financially, and sixth in population. 24th in military, apparently, but we are ramping that up. We're also going to get our Thracian armies in here soon. That's a level two. By Lazora, that's level three. And this one is a level two as well, isn't it? But of course... We're going to have to, if I look at that, the Romfe 4, I need third tier barracks. And what do, like, these cavalry units need? Like, the noble cavalry, third tier stables as well. I'd love some sicker cavalry, but I don't think they're AOR. Um, up here, though, do, like, they had Be Bessie Swordsman. So, yeah, Bessie and Swordsman. Well, apparently, we can train that right now. No, we can't. We don't have a recruitment building. But, uh, okay. Uh, oh, no, it's because it, it's level level 2. So that's... They might be level 2 then. Yes, they are. And they're a pretty cool unit. Armor piercing with their secondary weapon. So a lot better than you think. Uh, they don't frighten nearby enemy infantry, though. So they are better. Uh, not quite as good as the uh, Thracian Romfer 4. But also the DI Swordsman. These guys are fantastic. 16 melee attack guys with 32 defense. 17 morale as well. Pretty nice. I think we're going to get a couple of those units as well. Show them off. What else do we have that's really interesting? Romfe Foroy, obviously. Don't think there's anything else that's really that good. Light Lancers, no. Uh, obviously, the Noble Cavalry is really good. But yeah, very cool. I can't wait to use those units. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.